You know what? I feel like we've been in this situation before. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like got a made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan and he like the Ravens, like the Ravens. And you know just what I mean. So YouTube team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Ain't Raven here with another video. And in this video, we are back again. And Dez Bryant is back again. And he has something to say yet again. But it's something that I feel like we can all agree on. No matter what side of the fence you're on, no matter how you feel about it, I think we would pretty much all be on the same page with this, right? Anyway, before we get into this, shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Appreciate y'all. The new ones, the old ones, anyone that might have been on here before, anyone that might have left. I still thank you. Thank you for everything. I appreciate y'all. Team Keep It Clean, we are, we got a little while to go, but the next big goal for Team Keep It Clean is 50,000 subscribers. Uh, that's what we're shooting for next. When it happens, it happens. No rush. But anyway, to get into this, uh, it's training camp time, and for the past two days, the pads have been on. Now, also for the past two days, Hollywood and Miles Boykin have been out. Uh, but the Ravens had a throwback receiver come through, that being Torrey Smith. He joined the Ravens at training camp today, and he was observing, and he was looking at everything that was going on. He even gave the kids that he brought free tickets to a Ravens game coming up. So shout out to Torrey Smith, and shout out to him doing that for the kids. But one thing that he observed, and one thing that he brought to everyone's attention, he said, ooh, by the way, those Ravens receivers, they're looking good. They're looking good. And mind you, this was without Sammy Watkins. Mind you, this was without Hollywood Brown. Mind you, this was without Miles Boykin. So these are guys like Devin Duvernay, James Prochet, Deion Kane, Benjamin Victor. Uh, so so Torrey Smith said those guys were looking good. So we just, just imagine how the Ravens receivers could look when the starters get back too. And then on top of that, they didn't even have their quarterback throwing to them. They had Tyler Huntley and Trace McSorley as the main quarterbacks throwing them passes. So if the receivers are looking this good right now, that is a beautiful thing. But Torrey Smith, he shared his thoughts with everybody on Twitter. Now, there's Bryant. We know there's Bryant. We know how he feels about this Ravens offense. We know how he feels about this Ravens offensive coordinator. But there's Bryant. He had to chip in. Let's see what he said. He said, facts. But Giro have to dial up plays for Lamar. Ravens could easily be the most dominant team in the league. You shouldn't be able to cover any wideout because of Lamar and the run game. And I think a lot of people would agree with that. Like, the Ravens, they should be so dangerous. They're already dangerous now. But they should be so much more dangerous, especially when it comes to the passing game. And let's just break down what he said. First and foremost, he said facts, but Giro has to dial it up, dial up plays for Lamar Jackson. And that's true. That's something that we can all agree with. The play calling, that's obviously on Greg Roman. Now, again, is Greg Roman the worst offensive coordinator in the world? No. His strengths are his strengths. His weaknesses are his weaknesses. And like we've been saying all summer long, that's the reason why they brought in a Keith Williams. That's the reason why they brought in a T. Martin to help Greg Roman where he struggles at. So they can give Greg Roman input. But now, like we've also said, since they first got hired, it's up to Greg Roman to take that input. Now, I think he actually has no choice because I do believe. Well, I also said I, I don't think he's on the hot seat. But again, those cheeks are starting to perspirate just a little bit. Just a little bit. So the pressure is on. The Ravens said, Greg Roman, we want there to be no excuses. We're giving you some, wide, some more wide receivers. We're upgrading this offensive line. We're even giving you coaches to help with the plays. The play design, the play calling, the route running, the receivers to help with all of that. So we don't want you to have any excuses whatsoever. So it's up to you to get this thing right. And not even to get it right, but to sort of make some adjustments with it. Because the Ravens offense has been something that has been very, very successful in the regular season. They do have their flaws here and there, especially in the passing game. But overall, the Ravens offense has been pretty good. They've been a top scoring offense. They do their thing. But in the postseason, that's when things just start to crumble. Now, again, 
Me, I think the biggest thing with the Ravens in the postseason, the biggest problem, not offensive line, not quarterback, not wide receiver, not defense. No, in my opinion, their biggest problem in the postseason has been the same thing every year. Every single postseason game has been lack of preparation. Just flat out lack of preparation. It just seems like the Ravens, they prepare for the regular season now. They're ready for the regular season, but when it gets to post, they're like, oh, uh, uh, whatever. So that has got to improve. But anyway, it, it also said Ravens could easily be the most dominant team in the league. And you look at this roster, they have playmakers on offense. They have playmakers on defense. And they just they just added Justin Houston. Like they, they already had a really good roster. And then they just went out and added a Justin Houston. And he'll be joining them on Friday or Saturday. It's like, man, these guys like they are they 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 got some nice depth. Obviously nice starters and some nice depth as well. So this is one of the better teams that they've had recently. And they're a very mature team as well. They got a good mix of youth and veteran presence as well. So that's a beautiful thing. But he said they could easily be one of the most dominant teams. Or no, 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 not one of the most. He, he said Ravens could easily be the most dominant team in the league. You shouldn't be able to cover any wide out because of Lamar and the run game. So we know that Lamar Jackson, we know his presence. We know just the threat of a Lamar Jackson. That scares defenses. Because, and, and what, what Dez Bryant is saying that should do, he's saying just all of the attention that should be on Lamar. It's like you got to pick your poison. What are you going to do? You're going to double this wide receiver? You're going to have a safety up top of this corner and wide receiver? You're going to have extra help? Or are you going to stack the box? Are you going to have all these defenders around Lamar to where you leaving these wide receivers one-on-one? -on -one and they take advantage of that. What are you going to do? Pick your poison. And then on top of that now, which receiver are you going to double? Who are you going to double, especially when they go four, five wide, when they, when they spread it out? And then, of course, you still have Lamar Jackson, the threat of Lamar Jackson. So what are you going to do? That's what Dez Bryant is saying this offense should be, and I think that we would all agree. But it's up to everybody. Now, it's not just on Greg Roman. It's not. So let's not act like that. It's on Lamar to make the plays, whether it be the throws or the runs. It's on the offensive line to make the plays, whether it's a pass or a run. It's on the receivers to run the routes and make the catches, make the plays, whether it's a throw or a run. They, they had to block sometimes, too. It's on the tight ends. It's on everybody. But this offense has so much potential. We know it, Greg Roman. We know what he said in the press a couple of days ago. He said, I'm going to find a way. If, you, if you're good at something, we are going to find a way to use that and so many people in the comments they said oh he said stuff like this before oh what is he supposed to say oh i don't believe it man i couldn't be mad at that at all i feel the same way but i'm hoping we're hoping that this is the year that they put everything together and they don't just put it together in the regular season but they put it together in the playoffs as well. Because this year, there's no excuses. They have no reason why they should fail. They have no reason why this offense shouldn't be rolling. None. Because this year, unlike last season, this year, they had an offseason. This year, they had a training camp. This year, they had OTAs. This year, they had everything. So, there's no excuses. Now, we know Lamar's been out, and he's going to be out at least one more day with the whole COVID protocol. And Greg Roman said, oh, we, we ain't going to wait on Lamar. He's going to have to play catch up. But, you, you know, they're they going to get Lamar caught up. You know, <laughs> you know that they ain't going to be like, all right, Lamar, we're leaving you. you uh -uh, the train has left. No, it's Lamar Jackson. That's your starting quarterback. There's no way that you're going to do that. You, you, can talk, you can talk that talk now. Which is cool, and it makes you look like, hey, next man up, hey, Lamar Jackson, he, he messed up, so we moving on. You could say that and to try to make it look like you really, yeah, we ain't playing no games. We cutthroat, da-da-da-da, but we know the truth. And it ain't no problem.
Because it's Lamar. That's your guy. <laughs> but, hey, it's up to Greg Roman. He got, again, a lot of pressure on him. A lot of pressure on him. But the pressure doesn't just uh, sit on his shoulders alone. So we'll see how this whole thing works itself out. And we hope, we really hope that Ravens can really get this thing together. And again, not just in the regular season. The regular season, I don't think we're worried about regular season. But we want to see that regular season offense stay alive in the playoffs as well. Let's go. Shout out to Graven.